In this video, I want to talk a little bit about diabetes and the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So what is diabetes in a in nutshell? Diabetes basically just is high blood glucose levels can't be lowered. So high blood glucose levels are bad and they can be damaging. And the reason why they can be damaging is because uh, glucose will actually stick onto red blood cells and affect uh, and interfere with uh, the circulation of your blood and that can be particularly damage, damaging to a lot of blood vessels and that of course can lead to a lot of problems because your blood has to go everywhere in your body so no area in your body is safe from diabetes um, so what's the difference though between type 1 and type 2 type 1 is normally called juvenile onset let me actually write this in green juvenile onset and type 2 is usually called adult onset. Now those terms are a little bit or at least can be a little bit misleading although they can be helpful to remember some small details but essentially the root difference is that the problem with type 1 diabetics is they have a loss of insulin production. They do not produce insulin. Type 2 diabetics their problem is a little bit different. They don't have a problem producing insulin. They can produce it but the they have an inability there's of the cells to respond to insulin so they have a decreased sensitivity to insulin so type 1 diabetics have no insulin type 2 diabetics are insensitive to insulin so their bodies their cells cannot respond to the insulin levels even if the insulin is there so what's the cause of type 1 diabetes and what's the cause of type 2 diabetes the cause of type 1 diabetes basically is damage to the pancreas uh, specifically the cells that create insulin which are the beta cells now um, the the cause can also have something to do with genetics as well keep in mind I am kind of simplifying this overall and I'm not a doctor so um, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on all this but I do have a general idea of what's going on so the cause, like I mentioned, is the damage to the pancreas is beta cells, so that they, the beta cells can no longer produce insulin. Uh, genetics play a role as well. Um, the cause is often an autoimmune disease. So if um, basically if your immune system attacks your own pancreas, specifically your beta cells, and damages them to a point where you can't create insulin at all, or not enough insulin, then that is a problem. So Typically, this happens with uh, individuals who, are, you know, when they're when they're pretty young. Hence, the term juvenile onset. Usually, people are born with type one diabetes, or they're pretty young when they have this, and it's diagnosed pretty early in their lives. Whereas type two diabetics, it's called adult onset because, generally speaking, uh, diet and lifestyle have have to do with acquiring type two diabetes. And again, genetics play a role with type two diabetics as well. Uh, typically, though, uh, diets high in sugar, high in fat, and high in cholesterol all sort of lead to type type 2 diabetes. Uh, and individuals who are obese uh, typically um, are more susceptible to type 2 diabetes. Hence the term adult onset, because usually people who get type 2 diabetics, diabetes uh, are diagnosed later in life. So what is the treatment for type 1 diabetics versus type 2 diabetics, generally speaking? Both of them are, of course, encouraged to, to eat, have a healthy diet and definitely exercise. This is true not just for diabetic patients, but just all people in general, right? You always want to promote health by encouraging a healthy diet and healthy exercise. Um, but with type 1 diabetics, uh, the treatment is often just administering insulin. And why is that? Well. Type 1 diabetics don't have a problem with responding to insulin. They just don't produce enough of it or don't produce it at all. So a lot of type 1 diabetics, which you'll see, is uh, I actually had a buddy of mine who was diabetic, and they basically had an IV connected to them at all times. So they would like continually throughout the day be on a drip of insulin, and their body would um, get that insulin that they needed, and they would basically live a normal life. Um, so if if type 1 diabetics, right, they just don't have insulin or don't have enough, all they need is insulin. That's what they need to solve their problem. Type 2 diabetics, can you administer them insulin? Generally speaking, no. In some cases, uh, they might just need a larger dose of insulin in order to respond to it because of their decreased sensitivity to it. But generally speaking, 
administering insulin is not the best course of treatment here. Um, what you, if if you are, are diabetic or know someone who's diabetic, you might be familiar with this drug called metformin. So um, what metformin does is it's a drug involved essentially in increasing the sensitivity of cells to insulin. So basically it allows insulin to actually work or be effective. That's one of the things it does. It also has um, it also decreases hepatic uh, gluconeogenesis, which basically means that it causes the liver to stop producing glucose because the liver will produce glucose and start dumping it into your blood. So metformin sort of um, inhibits that, decreases that. So I hope that was a, a sort of good general overview about the difference between type 1 diabetics and type 2 diabetics. I hope that was a clear and organized um, differentiation between the two. hope that was helpful. I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moveuniversity at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.